Good evening, I'm Frank Fraboni in for Tyler Harden tonight. Greenville's new city manager is shaking things up in his administration. Michael Cowan on Monday moved assistant city attorney Dina uh, Alexander to assistant city manager and assistant city manager Ken Graves to deputy city manager. And also tonight, people left the city council meeting happy after council threw out a proposed housing ordinance. The measure would have made it easier for fraternities and sororities to move into homes on a stretch of Fifth Street. News 12's Chris Young was at the city council meeting. He's joining us now live in Greenville with the folks reaction there. Chris, what was that like? Well, Frank, more than 50 people showed up to tonight's city council meeting, almost all of them in opposition to the zoning ordinance that was thrown out at the start of the meeting. They are homes, not commodities, to be collected by real estate investors. They are homes where families have raised their children and where some are doing so now. The homes in question are mainly single family homes along Fifth Street between Maple Street and Brownlee Drive. The rezoning ordinance that so many residents came to speak on would change requirements for fraternities and sororities to move into this area of Greenville. One resident says people at the meeting to oppose the ordinance were happy to see it removed. We never thought it was appropriate to have a fraternity or sorority in a single family neighborhood and we're just delighted that it was uh, pulled. Maury York, a resident who would be affected if the ordinance is approved, says the neighborhood he lives in is essential to the city. I think uh, single family dwellings and the people who live in them add stability to, to the community. Um, they're, they're taxpayers. They, uh, they keep up their yards and their gardens. They contribute to the town and the community. He tells me there is a significant difference between houses people own versus houses rented to fraternities and sororities. When you have a, a neighborhood that becomes largely rental, or in this instance with a lot of fraternities, the neighborhood becomes degraded. Uh, not that the students are bad, but it just changes the whole character of the, uh, of, the, of, the, of the neighborhood. York says he doesn't mind the thought of more fraternities and sororities in Greenville, just that such establishments don't replace the homes he and many others at the meeting live in. He tells me there are plenty of places around the city that could accommodate these sororities and fraternities. As we, we all stated, several of us stated, we think it's appropriate to have them in, in a sort of a, a village or a court in an area that's not a single family neighborhood so that they can do their socialization without having an impact on, on uh, single family neighborhoods. Many of the people at tonight's meeting left satisfied and hoped that their words would appeal to the city council. Live in Greenville, I'm Chris Young with News 12.